Hey folks, Kevin Rogers, Bobby Girl on TV. <laughs> Had a lot of success with our last video on the live scope. Overwhelming the amount of people who have reached out to me via Facebook or on uh, our YouTube channel, Bobby Girl on TV, about this live scope. It was a horrible video. I did a really bad job shaking. Remember, I'm not Steven Stillberg out here. I'm not <laughs> trying to win some kind of awards for these videos. I'm trying to help teach you guys about crappie videos. So I apologize for my horrible video taking. I'm not a video expert. I'm not a young kid. I don't know all this technology, but I'm doing the best I can. I'll try to get you better video. Today I want to walk through just the amount of comments I've had about the live scope was unbelievable. Um, Again, I'm not sponsored by Garmin. I don't get paid a penny by Garmin. I saw this technology and I knew that I had to have it in my boat. So I'm going to just a couple walk you through right here the setup that I have in the front of my boat because I had a lot of questions how the transducer worked, how it goes on the trolling motor. I'm going to walk you through that right now. The unit, um, this is a 94, I believe, is what I uh, what I bought. It just a, It's a 9 inch screen. Um, this was less than a thousand dollars. The transducer was fifteen hundred bucks. Let me get that clear. That was one of the comments I had. I put it up here. I've got it on a ram mount up in the front of my boat. And someone even asked about this. This is a lock for the ram mount you can put on so no one can come here and try to steal your unit. Thieves are going to steal no matter what. I've got it right next to my Lowrance HDS 12. Um, and it works fine. And let me show you why it works fine. It works fine. Here is the transducer for the Lowrance right here it's on the bottom of the trolling motor and here my friends is the life scope transducer right here it mounts to the shaft of the trolling motor right here and they do not interfere so I'm running regular 2d imaging on the Lowrance I'm running the live scope I don't even have the 2d imaging transducer hooked up for live scope because I have the Lowrance. So I run the Lowrance, I have the mapping system in Lowrance, I have the 2D here. But for the live scope, it mounts to the shaft of the trolling motor. And that's what I meant the other day. So every time I'm up here on the foot trail, I move the trolling motor, this moves with it. So you have to be pointing in the right direction to see what's going on. But that's how it mounts, guys. It's pretty simple mount. It, I installed this myself. It didn't take very long. There's four screws there that mount. Um, this direction I have it pointed. Something cool about this, the way they have it mounted, you can actually just watch this. You can move just by clicking. <laughs> you can move this thing however you want. This thing is actually shooting forward. This position right here is actually shooting forward, but it also shoots down far enough I can see right underneath the boat. I had it in the down position to begin with, like this, and it wasn't letting me see out in front of the boat far enough. So you move it like this, where this is flat, this is actually shooting out this way, and ah, it's been the best for me. But that's it. Something a little bit different. If you guys are 360 unit uh, users, yeah, I can't even speak. 360 users, you're used to this. This has to have its own power. So it comes up and it goes to this module box right here. This module box has its own direct power, kind of like the 360 did for the Hummingbird. So you have to have power to the unit, that unit comes down here and connects to this Garmin modular box. Then that from that modular box comes up and hits the transducer. So it has its own power and that has its own power. And something else I found when I hooked mine up, my unit, the technology is happening so fast and so quickly that I had to, to get it to work, I had to go download an update from Garmin. I had to go online, download an update for my 94 VS, whatever the heck this unit is. I had to go download the proper um, update for my unit before it would even read the live scope transducer. So you guys buying these new units, well, well shouldn't the unit I go buy off the shelf uh, be updated? You would think, but the technology is so fast, these units sit on the shelf for eight or six months. So make sure you have the update. I've had several people call me and say, hey, I can't get my unit to work. You need the update for the live scope. So that's all I did. And Garmin, uh, support, you call them, you get to talk to a human being uh an american human being sit in olathe kansas their technical support has been the best i've seen here i'm cheering for garmin i wish that i don't get paid a penny to say that but my experience with them has been great so far so that's the that's the whole deal guys um i haven't tried it with the 360 yet um people are asking if that'll work i'm sure i don't know if they would um if they would interfere with each other or not um i'm telling you 
this technology right here, you're not going to need the 360 anymore. Hummingbird Lorance are going to have to keep up. So there it is. $1,500 transducer runs up, goes right to this Garmin modular box. So that's one problem. You got to find a place to mount this thing in the front of your boat in a compartment somewhere. This is the only downfall of the life scope that I see. Having that giant box, not giant, I mean, was that 10 by 6 up here in the front of the boat? You got to have part of that thing. You got to have part of this. So, guys, I'll try to do a better job getting you some videos on this thing. But there it is. That's how the whole thing. I've had a million questions. It mounts right to the trailmore. It's a very simple mounting bracket. Not only that, you can move it like I just showed you here. I like it going forward because you can still see down. So there is the setup that I have. I'm gonna go out, I'm trimming lake today. This is, what are we, December 15th. I'm gonna go out, see if I can catch some fish. They're suspended, see I'll show you, see if I can do some videos here. I have a bunch of stake beds up here. I'm at Sparrowfoot Boat Ramp on the upper end of Trimming Lake, and there are a million stake beds up here on this end of the lake. I'll go, and by the end of the day, the wind's really, really bad, guys. It's blowing 15 miles an hour, hard to do video. I'll get yelled at for my crappy video again, so. Um, I know I do a bad job of shooting these videos. Be patient with me. Um, if you comment on YouTube and have a bad comment, it don't matter. I'm just going to delete you and remove you from the page anyway. So, love and knowledge. This is about learning. So, we're trying to help each other learn about crappie vision. That's all this is for. Not trying to win an Emmy here. Or a Grammy. Not a Grammy. That's music, isn't it? That's hilarious. Well, there you go. So, let's go out in the lake. All right. Um, we have signed up Bobby Garland TV for the next year. And what I promise you is we're going to get other folks. I know we need to get other folks on here. Other Bobby Garland Pro Staff members doing other videos. We need long liners. We need casters. We need guys fishing clear water using two-pound mono and all that stuff. We have to get those guys because that's not me. That's not where I live. I don't even have that type fishing. We'll do a better job of, of diversing and getting you more topics. So let's go on the lake. And let, I've had a lot of questions of what a stake bed looks like um, on the live scope. I'll see if I can't go find you one and put it on here for you. All right, let's go.